Welcome back everybody, I'm Stately, this is City Skylines, and we're just gonna keep going where we left off by the look of it. Um, yesterday I did a bunch of work on this intersection, and eh, there's a few more things I want to do here before we move on. Um, as you can see, I've changed some of these things into single lanes, um, by necessity mostly. And now everybody is kind of avoiding this and this, and I think the reason is speed limits. So I'm going to try lowering the speed limit at the actual roundabout so that it is more appealing to take the side roads. I am going to make sure I've got the right lane set up everywhere. We don't want more lanes than we need because that tends to make things worse. Um, but what we're going to do primarily here is we're going to take that speed limit and... Oh, it's already set up properly, isn't it? They just don't want to use it for some reason. And I'm a little unsure on what that reason is. Is there an issue with them getting in the right lane? Is there a reason they're even stopping here? Well, they're stopping here because they can't move here. So I've got the speed limit on the roundabout itself set to 40 kph, and on these side roads it's 80. Um, but in spite of that, they really don't seem to be interested in taking this road anymore. Um, but I'm also seeing that they're all in the left lane. So let's see if I have any lane rules here that are causing this. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. They're explicitly allowed to change lanes over there. Um, they're explicitly allowed to change lanes over in several different locations. So let's, uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at some of these guys. And... Yeah, see, he's going here, but he's not taking this road, and I don't know why not. And I'm betting there's a lot of guys here doing the exact same thing. They're all going over to here, and they're all refusing to take the flyover that I built. So, yeah... What's all that about? Is this stuff not connecting properly? It very much looks like it's connecting properly. Uh, but there's just not a single car in this right lane here. Um, Alright, let's double check. Oh, he's making a U-turn. Alright, that's not interesting. He's going... All of these guys, they're all going here, and they're all taking the roundabout instead of the flyover. And that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. Hmm. I have a hmm. And it's, it's causing a lot of extra traffic on the roundabout, too. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Let's... Maybe lower things some more. Force them to go even slower on the roundabout. See if that helps. You know what? I'll let them drive like idiots on the flyover. You can just go completely insane once you hit the flyover, as far as I'm concerned. See if that helps. Oh, I've got one lane at 30 and one lane at 50 here. Alright, now I've slowed the subway down over there, I think. These, these ones you're seeing here and over here and here are for the subway line. They have no, no relevance to us right now. I don't know. It seems to be like some kind of path noting issue or something. It just doesn't seem to believe that this is 
a viable way to drive. Uh, while we wait to see if this clears up, I'm going to... Let's see. Let's do some upgrades here. Get some of these road sections raised. Why are you not letting me do that? Come on, guys. There it is. Uh, we want it on the ground. No. We want bridge sections. That's what we want. There we go. Nothing. There's not a single car on the flyover anymore. I have clearly broken something. And I don't know what, and I don't know why. So if anybody has any suggestions for how to fix this shiny new mess, please feel free to let me know, because these guys are not rational. They are being the exact opposite of rational. Hello? Point selection, thank you. Yeah, I'm not making it better, am I? Anything, I feel like I'm making it worse aesthetically. That's very steep, too. Also, there seems to be a pillar over the freeway now. Okay, I'm going to lower these a little bit. Again, this isn't going to fix anything, but it's an aesthetic necessity. Oh, there's a pillar there, too. See that? Don't know there's a whole lot I can do about that one except for this. And then everything collapsed, because of course it did. Not one darned car here. How irritating is that? How absolutely infuriating is that? Because there's nothing wrong with this intersection. It's nice. I mean, the flyover. It's a perfectly good flyover. Um, but nobody wants to use it because nobody's in the right lane here. And maybe that's the problem. Okay. Um, here, let's try... That makes it wider. I don't want to do that. Let's try going back to two lanes here. Like that. And instead of letting both lanes go straight, we will force the right lane to turn. Is this why? Is, is it literally not working because I've offered them no option? Ah, oh, jeez. They're not allowed to. I've somehow managed to screw this up so badly that they don't realize they're allowed to turn anymore. So, all right, I'm going to downgrade it again to a single lane because that is seriously the most sensible way of doing this, I think. But I absolutely need to make sure that they're allowed to make that turn because, damn. See, now they're not allowed to make that turn again. And now they are. Okay. All right. Look at that. I have clearly goofed somewhere along the line by preventing them from using that lane. Um, and this intersection seems to have the same problem. They're not allowed to use it. Which is very strange. And you are also allowed... Ugh, it's hard to select these guys when there's traffic running over them to go there. Is there anything weird going on here? Because if so, I'd like to know about it now, please. There is not. Everything's fine there. But I get the distinct impression that everything's going a lot better now.
Still a crazy intersection, but I think I might have fixed it. Always something stupid, isn't it? Let's just let this be a reminder to you guys if you think something's going horrendously wrong, check your traffic rules. Don't be like stately. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with this now. Um, considering the amount of traffic it handles, it's 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 working. You know, it's not fantastic. This is still very much an issue. Let's try to get an idea of where some of this traffic's going. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much expected. Most of it's going to be going straight. I don't know, do I need to come up with a separate way for them to go straight without... without going over the roundabout? It'd be kind of nice if I could, but I don't even know if I can. Just trying to level things out here a little bit. Make sure it's still high enough for the trucks to go under. It is not that truck was clipping. Uh, but that should be okay right there. No, it seems okay. I don't have any slowdowns on the freeway. Um, traffic here is clearly heavy. Uh, you know, that's fine. So, I think we're good for now. Alright, let's get back to uh, some of the detailing we were doing last episode. We can continue to make stuff a little bit prettier around here. And part of that is getting rid of odd little patches of grass. Um, but it should also be pointed out that some of these areas look really barren. Um, what I might do here is pop down some fencing to kind of fill this area out. We'll use the same fencing I was using before, but we'll go down. Alright, all of the snaps have to go. Go down to, say, here, and... Oh, don't give me that. Don't give me that. I have, like, all of the anarchy things on, and it's still being, well, infuriating. All right, fine. We'll do it like that. At least that kind of breaks it up, right? And even though there's a... A lot of traffic here. It seems reasonable. Well, I say that, but there's a lot of trucks coming out here, and the traffic on this side road is suffering as a result. But I think it's okay. We'll um, let it be for a little while. I do like this area. I think it turned out pretty nicely. I'm not sure what the deal is with this building. It's kind of out of place here. Um, like the angle's not quite right. Whatever, it's not a big deal. I'm going to uh, put a little bit of decor in front of the train station here. I think these would have normally been parking spots, but I disabled those. Um, so we have these curbs. And I think we can put a couple of those down here. They're not really height tolerant. It is whoa, hello! I have found a roof. seems to be reasonably balanced. All right, let's slap a couple trees down. Um, I don't want to go too crazy with weirdly colored trees. Maybe we'll just put down some normal trees in here. I don't have that one weirdly colored tree just to like add a little bit of variety 
That's pretty good. Breaks up the monotony a little bit. This was a pretty good call by the look of it. The high density commercial here seems to be doing nicely. Um, and that's a good place for it too. So, moving on, what other options for infill and decoration do we have here? We haven't done anything in Shady Pines in, like, forever. What could we do to make Shady Pines a little more attractive? Speaking of which, how is our industry doing? Profit, 136. I mean, it's better than nothing. But it's not spectacular. Shady Pines? Did I call it Shady Pines? This is clearly the town of Mudslide. What about, like, a small city park? I think Mudslide can support a small city park. I don't really see a good place for it. Ah, Shady Pines, of course. Shady Pines is the trailer park. Kind of a crummy trailer park, isn't it? Um, here, let's add room for a few more trailers and see if that helps. Oh, that's not going to help because those are um, linked to the roadside here and they'll never fill in. Um, same with these. Yeah, I literally have trailers in all of the places where I can have trailers here. It's just never going to be a very big trailer park. And that's fine. All right, let's put a couple of factories down back here. Kind of fill out the area. Nothing huge. Nothing spectacular. This should all be far enough from the residential areas to not be a problem, and it should have no trouble getting electricity. Uh, what's your problem? You do not have enough raw materials. I don't know. I, I don't feel like I can really push down a whole lot more here in the way of mines. Um, so you're just going to have to ride that out, I'm afraid. There's a lot of traffic coming through here. Look how pretty that is. Let's give them a little something to look at on the way. We'll pop down even more billboards. See what's available here. Buy hamburgers. The mayor of Stately Town wants you to buy hamburgers. And we won't run this into the valley. We'll have the billboards out on this side. And once you get like out of town here, we'll leave this be. Um, yeah, that doesn't really add much, does it? No significant improvements to report there, quality-wise. But, eh, whatever. It's all good. I feel like we need more parking here. I've never put down a, a parking garage or anything around here, but this would be a pretty logical place for one. I'm not sure I have room for one, though. This is still bunching up pretty badly. You know what? I'm not going to let guys from here go on to this slip road because it, it blocks traffic. Um, these guys can use this slip road. These guys just have to go straight. That's not a big deal. They can just go around here and it'll be just fine and dandy. And it'll probably make things a little bit easier. Let's see. So we go from here to here and that should make it go away. And now everything looks much better. Um, that's no, no, no left turns there. That's absolutely out of the question. We are not doing that. Uh, you have to go here, period. None of that left turn nonsense. Why would you even want to do that? I mean, at that point, you're just getting back on the freeway, right? If you're coming off here, you're coming from here or here. Well, not anymore. 
All right, what, whatever. I don't think it's an issue anymore because, well, we fixed it. No more left turns there. And that's helped this move along a lot faster. It's still kind of bunching up back onto the freeway, but yeah, whatever. Who cares? Okay, so parking here. I was talking about that just now. Um, what do we have in the way of downtown parking? Very little. Uh, let's say nothing. Maybe, maybe we can put down a parking lot here. This is otherwise reasonably unused, and I think it would be a sensible place for a parking lot. So let's let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and pop down one of the parking roads as close to this as we can get without knocking it over, like so. That's not going to leave us a lot of room for parking, is it? Alright, let's get some snaps going here and see if I can... Whoa, guys. Wow. Uh, yikes. I think yikes is the word we're looking for here. I mean, even if I did do, like, one more, it would still only be... three parking spots. So that's not the solution there. Um, clearly not the solution. Uh, could we, like, just attach this... Ah, oh, frack. I'm not sure what happened there. I just lost a nice building, though. And my terrain leveling seems to have gone overboard, too. So, yeah. That's... irksome. This used to be two, one, one large section, and now it's two small ones. Let's see what's going on there. Let's see if I can fix it. Best way to do that is probably to level the terrain out to the road here. Hello. All right, like this. Get it nice and flat. This whole thing should be as flat as it reasonably can if we're going to try to put parking there. Alright, hopefully... Nope, still no good. Why not? I don't know. Um, okay, so... Not sure what's going on here. I'm gonna adjust the road just a tad to try to... Get things level up. Level up a little better. But yeah, it might just be a lost opportunity. That's too bad. I like the look of that building there. Um, but it is what it is. If we have to do something different, then we'll do something different. No big deal. And this is, there's a lot of little things that this thing could possibly snap onto here that I don't want it to snap onto. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing a great job with much of anything here today, am I? A little farther out, even farther, something like this, I suppose. Yeah, no. No, 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 that's not it, is it? Fairly clearly not it. Um, what if we just run a parking lot straight out from here? Say, here? Uh, that's better, I mean, it's still not great, but at least it doesn't take up oodles of space for nothing. And it does give us a little bit of parking, so hey, let's let's run with it, right? Um, okay. Is it more or less flat? It seems more or less flat. Let's 
Yeah, that looks like it'll work out okay. And, yeah, I'm sad about that building because it was a nice building and it fit there well. But, you know, whatever. We'll see what, what fills up with now. Might be good too, who knows. And then we'll revise, revise the fans based on what pops up here. It's all good. Another thing that I've been wanting to do for a while and that I think maybe we can do now... Now, another other thing that I've been wanting to do for a while is clean this intersection up. It's not nearly as heavy as the other one, but I don't know. Do we even need stoplights here? I guess we probably do. It looks like there's a fair amount of traffic coming through there to turn left. Over to Mudslide. Um... And it doesn't look like it's going to get much lighter. The best thing here eventually would probably be a roundabout, but our little tram turnaround here might make that challenging too. Uh, but no, this is our first intersection. I, I have revised it once. This is the very first thing we built here. But I want it to be much more compact. Because this is just kind of hokey. And, you know, I've learned a thing or two since I built this. I haven't been entirely not paying attention. So I might as well see what I can do to make it all look just that little bit more realistic. Or at least that little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I'll settle for either, frankly. like to do here is have it look pretty much just straight and here like that that's much cleaner some weird elevation changes here though and I think it's also far higher than it needs to be so if we lower this center section Hopefully those elevations won't look quite as ridiculous. Although this is really weird. It doesn't look too steep. It, it is, though. It's definitely pretty steep. But in this case, at least, we can simply move... I got two nodes right up against each other here. That's always a bit of a problem. Move these nodes out a little bit. Just so that we have some more room on the ramp. And that'll keep it pretty parallel. That looks pretty good. Um, kind of the same thing here. Maybe just move this node over a little bit so that we're not getting these abrupt ramp sections. It's still weird, but it's definitely better than it was. Okay, that's fine for now. We might have to revisit this at some point and come up with something entirely different. I don't know for sure. Looks fine from the top down, right? much. All right. Let's see. This is being used, and we did get a building there. It's just nowhere near as nice as the previous one was. Whatever. Oh, right. Slightly too large brush size going on there, I think. Uh, something like that should be okay. Uh, that makes this fence kind of useless, though. So let's, um... Let's take some of these fence sections here out. Not you, you. Leave that one in. 
and we'll run the fence, which is fortunately still selected. I don't know, let's just run it down to here and along the line to here, like that. And then we'll put a couple of trees in the background and maybe some shrubbery to hide that weird little intersection there. Let's see, what do we got? That's the wrong button, isn't it? Done that a hundred times before. Probably do it a hundred more times before I finally work it out. Easy peasy, right? Just slap that down and call it a day. Hello? There we go. Well, there's not a lot of parking by the train station, but there is parking by the train station now. There's something to be said for that. Did that train just pop into existence in front of my eyes? They are carrying a lot of freight. It seems like this was a good idea in the end. I, I didn't think it was necessary because our road connections were pretty good, but it would appear that we're getting a lot of freight getting moved out through this train station here. Let's see. He's unloading and loading up with 20% full now. That's nothing spectacular. Let's take a look at this area. Now, this area is problematic because I have some height differentials that I just can't really scale into anything. So maybe we can put down a key. That's not a key. Um, use one of the smaller ones. What is this? It's a plastered wall network. That doesn't help. Overpass support network. I never really did work out how to wor work that one properly. Um, so let's go with the standard one and see what happens if I just kind of put it down around this area here. It fits. Um, it needs some height adjustments for sure because I've accomplished exactly nothing now other than move the cliffs onto the terrain. And that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, let's try to get this all flat. That seems to be more or less right. And here, yeah, let's raise these a little bit too. Okay, now things are starting to look pretty well sorted. The terrain around the school is got a bit of a dip there. Let's see if I can do anything about that with the terrain leveling tools. Ay, 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 ay. There's always the next thing that needs doing, isn't there? Not too big. And how odd is that? I think I might need to actually lower this a little bit to get it to uh, line up a bit better. I don't know why these nodes for these keys are so huge. Be nice if they weren't. And let's put it down. I'm trying to get it to where it seems like there's not a whole lot of. Well, so this is a big dip actually. And that's not what we want. But in order to get it flat, I have to go way up to here. And that seems like a bit much to me. So we'll compromise a little bit and do that. Now on this side, can we go all the way around? We'll deselect, just like this one. Pull it out to here. 
and the hell no very much not what I was trying to do this is what I was trying to do okay now everything is starting to make a little more sense now this terrain isn't so weird um, it's still not perfectly flat but it's definitely better right and that gives us some room here now this is a bus only lane so commerce here doesn't make a whole lot of sense Um, what could we do with it, though? Uh, hold on, I need to... I need to do some asphalting here, too. That's not asphalt. Nope, not like that. Need to be careful with this stuff. Because it's very easy to accidentally asphalt the wrong thing. Here. And along this side as well, I guess. To say there. So, like I was saying, this area, this here is a bus only road. So, zoning here is probably not a great idea. But what we could do is we could run. A side road, maybe through here. What have we got here? That's our medical clinic. Um, kind of don't want to tear that down. And that's that's the post office. Kind of don't want to tear that down either. But the other stuff, nobody cares. So we'll move the medical clinic over to the corner. I'm going to have to manually shuffle that around a little bit because... That's obviously not right. Normally I don't do this too much, but sometimes you just have to. Post office can stay, and what is this? It would appear that that might be part of one of my subway lines. Okay, let's raise this up a little bit and see if, see if that helps. No. Oh. Didn't get the zoning quite right there. Yeah, that seems okay. Um, this needs to be dezoned, though. We're not doing this. Not yet, anyway. What we'll do is we'll run a... Whoa. Hello, Blimp, my old friend. Not sure how I ended up there. On a side road here. Um, turn the snapping back on. Because again, I try to keep it on unless I absolutely need it not to be. And something like that. Now let's turn it into a less ridiculous road. We'll just use this. And what I'm thinking is we'll put some commerce at the front and maybe some high-density apartments at the back. I'm going to flatten this out a little bit because we have the key now. We don't have to worry too much about high differentials here anymore. That doesn't mean, you know, make it rough and rugged. But... Goal is always to keep it as nice as we can. Oh, you know what? We got this subway underneath here, so we kind of need that high differential, don't we? If I go down any lower, uh, bad things are going to happen, basically. Um, let's raise this intersection a little. We'll raise the clinic up just a little. Okay. All right, so let's do a couple of high-density residential buildings here. Um... No, not like that. Like this. That should be fine. These guys might end up being unhappy with the noise levels. I 
don't know about that. And then we'll pop down some nice shops here. There we go. That's a incredible little level of infill right there. And we'll put down a footpath here. Because, you know, footpaths. If I can find the footpaths. Of course I can find the footpath. The footpaths. Find them, I can't even pronounce them. Go from, say, here to here. Beautiful. I'll bet they're going to be pissed off about the noise levels, but, you know, whatever. You want to live somewhere, right? And it would appear that there's some low-density housing here that I forgot to zone. Well, that's not a mistake I'm going to make twice. Here and here, all perfectly good places for some nice houses. And even here. Here, and why not? We'll just fill all of this in. We're still in the green, but not by a whole lot. And we're at 45,000 residents, where it looks like we're in another downturn. No big deal. Okay. Everything seems to be coming along pretty nicely right now. I mentioned that I wanted to put in some toll booths earlier, and looking at where the traffic is and where there might be room for it, normally you'd expect toll booths to be like before or after a bridge. I, I have no room for a toll booth before or after this bridge here. There's just no way to squeeze that in. Um, that would be the most logical place for it. But the second most logical place, I think, would be this bridge here. And I think this right here is where we'll put our toll booth. Let's see what we got. This is a three-lane road. I've done this before, and I was never able to actually make any money on the damn things because the upkeep was always more expensive than and the amount of traffic they were getting. But there seems to be pretty heavy traffic here, so I have high hopes that I'll be able to make a few bucks on a toll booth here. Let's see, we've got one-way toll booth, two-way large toll booth, and two-way toll booth, and one-way toll booth, and the one-way large toll booth. God, there's no way I'm going to fit that in there, is there? Well, let's go with the smaller one, then. And we'll kind of put it at the angle here. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of destructioning. And then we'll put the tool booth in. Will you snap for me? You will not. There will be no toll booth snapping. Okay, hold on. I need to, I think, move this in just a tad like that. And that should give us just about enough space for that toll booth. I gotta remember to replace those, otherwise we're gonna end up with some serious sewage issues. Put this right about there. Hopefully, this won't cause too many slowdowns or anything. And... That's not quite ideal. I might need to do a bit of cleanup work there to get everything properly lined up. Definitely need to do some cleanup work here to get everything properly lined up. That looks pretty smooth. Um, we got a kind of a ramp issue here. 
Should I raise this a little bit? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll just about do it. Oh, I'm sure they love that. Oh, right, with my um, electrical issues. I forgot about that. Oh, this is already powered. Okay, that's good. That means I don't have to do too much to get that powered up. We'll just run a line. Honestly, that's kind of all we have to do. I'm going to go ahead and connect all this for aesthetic reasons more than anything else. Okay, let's see. What's the toll got to be? Um, really? I can't go any higher than $2 a ticket? I can't cross the Bay Bridge for $2. I haven't been able to in 30 years. Anyway, that's just me taking out my frustrations on my, on my sims here. Fill this in a little bit. That and Let's see if we can raise the speed limit here a little bit. Um, yeah, 20 is too low even for a toll booth. Let's have them slow down to like 60 and we'll say it's fast pass. That makes a lot more sense. I think that'll be okay. We'll see what kind of money we make on it. We'll check in on it soon. While we're here, let's go ahead and put down just a few more billboards because I'm kind of on a billboard placement spree. Um, and, you know, Tollbooth is a good place to put a billboard because people are slowing down. And they might actually pay attention. Might and mightn't. And we'll put one there, and like that. That looks kind of credible. Okay, now, I've never been really happy with this. I When I put this freeway down, I didn't manage to leave myself enough room to put a key in between the uh, sections or anything, so... It's got kind of this weird gradient slope. And in a couple of places, it's like almost vertical, but there's still no way for me to put a wall or anything in there. Um, I don't have a solution for that or anything. I just thought I'd mention it. But what we can do is put some weeds and grass and stuff down here. These guys, they don't really show, do they? No. Let me grab a brush size of one here and not really what I'm looking for. I thought I had some bigger ones here. It's none of these. This almost looks like it's supposed to be on a water side or something. Uh, but we can definitely have some varied weeds along the road here. And I'm just going to grab like a couple of different ones and then I'm going to go all the way up and down the road and place them here and there and then I'll move on to the next one and place a few. That seems to be a sensible way of doing this insofar as there is a sensible way of doing this. I'll tell you what though, many years ago when I was playing SimCity on a Commodore 64, if you, not a Commodore 64, on an Amiga, I, I tell a lie. If you told me I'd be like manually placing weeds along my freeways in 20 years, I would have thought you were insane. Well, you might still be insane. This is not a judgment on your sanity, dear listener. Yeah, I'm not making a whole lot of impact here, am I? But, oh. Okay, what do we got here? Our campus attractiveness has gone down. 
And probably because our sports team sucks now. And this guy got a bunch of students back and they invented ready to mix concrete. Fantastic. That's fantastic. What's going on there? Why were these guys stopped? Are we having a death wave? Are we having a death wave and water shortages? I don't really respond to death waves anymore because my overall capacity is enough that we never really end up with abandonment or anything, but this is looking a little rough. Um, here, let's... Yeah. Stop emptying those out. And hopefully that'll give us a trickle-on effect. Um, we have a couple of cemeteries here. Those are both operating... Although this one looks like it's almost full. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is looking like an old-fashioned death wave, isn't it? I just activated a few new cemeteries. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do, though. Just for the sake of sanity, so that we don't have to spend too much time listening to these people complain about their poor dead neighbor stinking the place up. We'll put down a um, an extra crematorium over here. Um, like right here should be fine. And that'll help serve this area here. Even looks like it'll increase land value a little bit. Good stuff. I wonder what I can do with these little islands here. The big one... Uh, I can use it, but it's very close to the edge of the map, and I kind of don't like to use stuff that close to the end of the map. But these guys, this one in particular, might be fun for doing something with. Okay. Um, toll booth is causing a traffic jam, which is kind of what toll booths are for, right? So I'm not going to worry about that unless it starts backing up way too bad. But, um, like, literally, that's what toll booths are for. Toll booths are for causing traffic jams. We can stop emptying that one out. I'll bet you that'll fix up the, the death wave soon enough. It's best not to over-respond, overreact to these things. Even, even this isn't that bad. This is, though, um, pretty bad. Let's see. What's the fire department situation look like? I have a fire department here, so that, that shouldn't be an issue. They'll get some firemen out here, and it'll be just fine. There's one right there. Okay, no worries. Our new high-density residential here seems to have filled out just fine. Might use a little bit of detailing. That is for future concern. These guys are not getting enough materials. Not enough paper. Not enough raw forest products to make into paper. Okay, well, you know what? We can put down a little bit more here. That's just fine. Let's see. Forestry. Medium tree plantation. Small tree sapling field. I haven't unlocked the large ones yet, I think. So we'll put down a few medium ones here. And hopefully... Wow, okay, there's all kinds of trees in the way of my trees. I don't know if that's good or not. I think it probably not so much, so let's go ahead and take these out. I mean, it is a forestry area, so this, I think, wouldn't be too much of an issue. And, yes, they want water. I am still good on water. 
running low on sewage, but we've been running low on sewage capacity for, I don't know, three, four episodes now, and we still haven't run out, so we'll worry about it when the time comes to worry about it, not a second sooner. Well, folks, I think that's going to do it for today. In spite of the fact that this was an episode with no real direction, feels like we got a fair amount done, so I'm not dissatisfied with it. This is more or less moving, as well as you can expect, I suppose. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Love me on YouTube. Name your firstborn children after me, etc., etc., etc. Thanks for watching. Peace.